All right, so normally when I start one of these videos, you're sitting there and you're looking at a bunch of cardboard boxes and I hold them up one at a time, tell you what we're gonna look at. This time I decided to mix it up a little bit. Maybe I can shave down a little bit of time on these videos so they're not so long, because me, when I'm scrolling through, like if you're like over 10 minutes, I'm definitely doing a lot of fast forwarding through your video just because I want to get to the point. So I've already opened them all, obviously. I've already pulled out all the comparisons, so we're just gonna take a quick run through, look at them. This, because I have like 50 action figures set behind the camera, I'd like to have all this stuff before done before January 1st for I can do a wrap-up video, a best-of video. Not to mention, I'm gonna go to New York Toy Fair this, time, I, uh, this year. I've went a couple times in the past as a buyer through a friend. It's definitely a pretty cool show. I think if you go as a buyer, it's a better show than if you're like press. Press, it's real limited on what they show you. If you're there to actually spend some money, then they show you a little bit more. But we'll see. Hopefully, I'll be able to come up on a couple of those Mezcos. The only difference between me and a lot of these other people is I'm going to keep those on my shelf. Let's go ahead and check these out. So here they are all lined up. I have them lined up from my favorite to my least favorite. We're gonna go ahead down here to my favorite figure, talk about them, show you the comparisons, everything all in once to make this video short and sweet. Try to keep your guys' attention span going for as long as possible. My favorite figure in the cannon is this cannonball. And just an apology in advance. I'm still, I'm uh, almost four weeks out of shoulder surgery i can still only use my right hand i can't reach the action figures with my left hand so i might have to kind of reach across the screen here so if you're wondering why i'm doing that that would be the reason why once again my favorite figure in the set is this cannonball i know when this came out a lot of you guys are going oh where's the replacement legs god that pissed me off when you guys said that are you kidding me they do something as cool as this with an explosion for legs this is the shit that I love. This, this, God, I'm so geeked on this figure. He's by far my favorite in the set just because of the explosion for the legs. And then I know a lot of the new collectors are lazy and they're cheap and they don't want to like go on eBay for anything. Because sometimes when the price of these old action figures go up, they just like sit there and they'll go, well, they're just hoping that they're going to remake them. And they did with Cannonball. So if you're sitting there and you're going, God, I wish they would have made a Cannonball with legs. They did. He's actually sitting right behind him. We'll go ahead and take a quick look at this Cannonball. I'm not doing any articulation. We just don't have time for shit like that in this video. Here's a Cannonball. He's absolutely perfect action figure. I wouldn't change anything about him. Well, if I changed anything, I'd get rid of the pins. But for some reason, Marvel Legends just won't get rid of that. I mean, they've did it a couple times. But they really like having those gaudy, chunky pins in their action figures. That thing at the waist, the explosion does clip off. I think that thing's really cool. Let me go ahead and show you the old one for a comparison. Kind of pull this thing out. If you want one of these really cool stands, let me kind of back that up. I don't know if that's like the bootleg or the real one, the, the SH figure or it's action based stands. That is definitely a really cool one for, for a cannonball. I just, God, that looks good. I really, really like that old action figure. He's going to definitely stay on the collection while they all stay on the collection. I don't really get rid of anything. Sorry, I'm trying to get him out of here because he, he is going to take, you know, he's going to the back of the shelf. For a side-by-side -side comparison with the old one to the new one, you can definitely see, you know, I, I thought this costume is really cool. I think this costume is really cool. A more modern take. I like how he still has the goggles on the head with the hair coming out. Both really cool action figures. I'm probably going to try to squeeze him in here in this explosion thing. Let me see if I can get this thing back in here somewhere. There's little holes in there and it plugs in. All right. So there's a new cannonball in this. God, that look, that's just fire, man. That just displays so well. I mean, I'm, I'm real big on just displaying my things, all my stuff in vanilla poses, army man style, real boring. It's kind of, it, you know, shelf space. It, it works out. Love that. By far my favorite figure in the set. Let me get him out of here. Before we have room for this Wendigo. And when they made the Wendigo, I was like, ah, oh, man, we already have Wendigo. And I, I do that all the time. I'm just such... I'm just such a sucker for new characters, even though we already had a cannonball and then they made a new cannonball. He was so different. I was just super excited to get that figure. And then when they did Wendigo, Wendigo is one of my favorite figures also. So when they did it, I was like, God, it's just a redo of Sasquatch. 
And then when I got him, when I got him, and I put him together, and I looked at these two things together, and I was actually okay. There's there's quite a bit of difference in these two. Obviously, the color. You can see that the hands are different. Both hands are different. Oh, let me try to raise my left hand up here. The feet are definitely different. Like this one kind of has like more like monkey feet, and this one has a Sasquatch feet. The little the, the little loincloth thing or the little the the little fur that covers his nuts is definitely different and then the head is definitely different and like the shoulder fur is also different so and plus not to mention i really love wendigo he's just such a cool character so you look at the backs of them those are different heads are different and then this one has the tail that plugs in so let me get this old sasquatch out of here and take a look at this wendigo so this thing is truly amazing. I love this as a Build-A-Figure. I love the size of him. I love everything about him. He's a perfect action figure. They killed it on this. I mean, like Marvel Legends, Hasbro, they let me down a lot. But this is this is a set I was actually really looking forward to. I'm surprised I didn't get to reviewing it earlier. I've just been so busy with riding my dirt bike, surgery, getting a divorce, getting a girlfriend, you name it. Like Life has definitely been busy. And then, of course, I'm going to pull out the old ones. And then back here, we have Wendigo here. And then you have Yeti. I'm pretty sure this is Yeti here. And so then when I had these, I was like, okay. And I was thinking that these two were the same, but then these two are totally different. Like, if you look at the feet are different. The legs are different. The loin cord is different. The chest, this one has, like, that weird sculpted on furry chest. This one doesn't. So I was thinking like for years that these two were the same figures, but they're so far back on my shelf to where I didn't never really pull them out. Like if this one has like hands, like the fingers are not articulated, then this one, the fingers are articulated. This one kind of looks like shit. So when you do get that snowbird figure opened up, which I'm hopefully going to get mine opened up, and like everybody's complaining that she didn't come with little accessories or whatever, like if she can turn into to, um, Yeti here so you can kind of put her behind him or put this guy behind her i also have like the owl and i think it was like a beaver or something from like the five inch figures that will go along nicely with that i just had to pull these out let me do like a side by side comparison of the two um wendigos all right for some reason that old one doesn't stand very well so i had to put him on a base here they are side by side. I still love the old one. And of course, the new one's a huge upgrade. So when they remake figures, I'm always on the fence. When they remake figures this nice, and then when, when they remake some of my favorite characters, it's like, okay, we kind of needed that. It's just one of their make characters that I didn't. I already have three or four of, and I don't really care much for the character anyways. That's when it really starts to piss me off. Then my third favorite one in this set is this Boom Boom. She's clearly just up here because... She's a new action figure. She does look really good, though. She, she comes with two different heads, just like Jubilee. You can do the one without the bubble that she's blowing. The, I love that bubble effect. Like, I'm going to use that a 100 times. Like Every time they make an action figure that can blow a bubble, that's the one that I always choose. They do have a replacement hand. If you don't want the magic effect on there, you can put this on there. I think that would just be stupid because that is awesome like that is stuff they don't do it very often when they do it i absolutely love it then they also comes with this extra bonus piece that you can kind of just set on her other hand or set on whoever she's throwing a flame on or whatever this is just a repainted figure of something that you already have and then they do all the same shit that they normally do where they put like these slip-on um boots and the slip-on sleeve and the slip-on belt which you probably have before the slip-on vest I'm sure we have that before. If we don't have it before, we're going to have it again because that's just how we do it. Then you move over here to, what is it, Mr. Sinister? Let me just double check so I don't look stupid. Yeah, Mr. Sinister. When I saw this, I was like, God, I, got, I love the one that we have. And then I was like, God, what do I do with two of them? Maybe I'll put the old one in the package and return it, get my money back, or maybe I'll just keep it. Then when I pulled this thing out, I was like, you know what? I absolutely love the new one. And I still love the old one for all the guys that were too cheap to go on eBay to buy this one. And you're going, oh my God, he's like $200 on eBay. Well, guess what? He's not $200 anymore. Now he's like five bucks on eBay. But if you don't want to get this old one, then you can get the new one. So here they are side by side. I still love the old one. Like I'm going to keep both of these in my collection. I was thinking I need to downsize, start getting rid of some characters. But they're so different. Like they're just so different. 
kind of different costumes, not really. The head sculpts are totally different. The capes are totally different. It's like the same idea, but the old one's still really cool. Like, it's nice to have the old one in my collection, so they'll still both be in there. So, unfortunately, he's not going back in the package and returning it. He's still worth at least 20 bucks to me, so I'll go ahead and have him stick around. Ooh, he just grabbed the camera. And then we'll come over back over here to Nightcrawler. I remember when they introduced Nightcrawler and everybody was... Sorry, I'm just trying to get it squared up here. When they introduced this Nightcrawler, everybody was like, Dude, what the heck? He doesn't have wire in his tail. Why doesn't he have wire in his tail? He also comes with an extra hand if you don't want him holding the sword, which would be... Which, I don't know. Him with the sword is kind of weird. It's cool, though. I'm, I'm glad that they threw it in and he will be displayed with one. Clearly because this one, my old one, doesn't have a sword. So when they displayed him, everybody's going, how come you don't do the wire tail? How come you don't do the wire tail? Like, I mean, I, I hate the wire tail. Like, I know a lot of you guys like it, but I hate it. Like, the wire tail compared to this tail, it looks like junk. It always has, like, those weird holes in it. I like this tail better. Yes, I can pose that and bend that, wrap that around a character, but I just don't do stuff like that. And then it's got, like, that weird thing coming out of his butt to, like, hold the wire tail versus just a clean hole like that. So... I guess if the wire tail, I don't know. I, I prefer it without the wire. I know why a lot of guys would like the wire. If you want to compare these two, you take the feet. These are totally different. This one has articulated toes, feet, ankles, back toe. Like everything's a weird old school ankle pivot, articulated fingers. And once again, I was thinking, God, do I really need two of these? Maybe I can put this one in the package, return it, get my $20 back. And then after holding these two things side by side, even though they're the same exact costume, the same exact everything, I still love the old one. And the reason why I'm definitely going to keep this thing around is because the new one comes with three different heads. So you can like, um, like God, you can almost buy three of just the new one and have them displayed three different ways. I thought that was really cool that they did that. I'm going to go ahead and go with the one with the black paint on there, and then I'm going to keep the old one on the shelf right next to him because I still think that he looks pretty good. And then going down, like, down even further, we have the Guardian, which, once again, I was like, you guys got to be kidding me. Why are you making the... And he falls. Come on, man, get up. Let me try to straighten his feet out. It's going to be so much easier to do these videos when I can actually move my left arm around. So here they are side by side, and when they announced that they were making him, I was definitely a little bummed out. I go, if you're going to make anybody to Alpha Flight, why would you make a character that we already have? I'm not upset that they redid him. We definitely needed an updated one. This one looks like crap. This thing looks amazing. God, look at the head on that thing. It just, God, it just looks silly. I was just upset. Like, there's so many characters to Alpha Flight that you can make. At the time, we didn't know the box set was coming out. And then you have like that puck figure in the Alpha Flight set, which was like two worth two hundred bucks, and now the originals worth like twenty bucks. And like once again, it's like it always stings a little. Like I don't collect this stuff for investment, but it would be nice to have a collection that was actually worth some money. It would be nice for our collections to go up in value and not down in value. When they redo figures like this, they go down in value all the time. The articulation on the old one, they definitely went. They were going all out. They got jointed figures. They got the butterfly joint. They used to go crazy with articulation back in the days. Articulated toes. Granted, the figure I thought was really cool until I got this figure. And then you hold these two side by side and you're like, yeah, the old one was, I don't know. This is like one where you think, well, should I put this one in the box and return it for the old one? <sighs> I just have a hard time letting go, man. Like, I feel like I need both of these in my collection. So... Once again, they got me. I think I'm going to go ahead and keep them both on the shelf. But here's the new Guardian I'm eventually going to do, or hopefully I'm going to do that Alpha Fight box set next because that was something I've been screaming for for years, and they finally gave it to, to us. And the biggest disappointment in the set is this Wolverine. I mean, dude, there's basically two of these Wolverines right behind it. Like, is this one better? Yeah, it's a little bit better. You can see that the head sculpt is different. The claws are different. Um, the pins are different. This one has the hairy arms. This one actually painted the buckles on the boots. This one, they were too lazy to do that. Like, I was totally cool with this one. This one has, like, the butterfly joints. This one doesn't. And the new one's better. And then we also have this one. This one's, like, kind of has the silver metallic paint. He's basically the same as this other one. This is definitely a figure I didn't need another of, but he comes with a build-a-piece and... 
I don't know. It just sucks. So you can see the difference between the silver and the gray. You look at this one. Like, I, I hate this joint right here on the thigh. And that. I mean, the new one's cleaner. I definitely like this one better. It's just so many characters out there. Like, what would you guys rather have? Would you rather have another Wolverine in the gray costume? Or would you have, like, Mira or somebody, the last figure or the figure that we really wanted in the Alpha Flight box set? That's it. I've done comparisons. I've did everything. Um, throw some pictures, pictures on the back end of this video. Man, I really appreciate you guys. It's almost Christmas. I hope you guys' Christmas is a good Make sure that you tell your wife's or girlfriend what you want for Christmas. Send her the link to eBay for you have something cool under the tree. Thanks for watching.